Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Distractions by Philip Newman. This is a Kropke pair Sudoku, so we have normal Sudoku rules. That means we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And in addition, we have some black and white dots in the grid in this lovely rotationally uh, kind of 180 degree symmetric pattern. Um, leave it to Philip to come up with just a really elegant looking grid. Um, whenever we have a black dot, the digits on either side of it are in a one to two ratio. So one of them is twice as big as the other. Whenever we have a white dot, the digits on either side of it are consecutive. So one of them is one greater or less than the other. Not all possible dots have been given, and that just means that there could be other pairs of digits in the grid that haven't been marked that are consecutive or in a 1 to 2 ratio. We only know anything about the digits that are marked. So let's start with the ones that are already on dots. So this 3 is on a dot. 3 is only in a 1 to 2 ratio with 6. And 6 is going to be consecutive with either 5 or 7. 2 will be in a 1 to 2 ratio with either 1 or 4. But if we look at this region, all of these digits have to be in a 1 to 2 ratio with something. But there are three digits in Sudoku that actually can't ever be in a 1 to 2 ratio with any other digit. Those are 5, 7, and 9. So they have to go in our three remaining cells. That means that this cell is one off from 5, 7, or 9. So it is 4, 6, or 8. And it can't be 6 because there is a 6 in the row. 8 is consecutive with 7 or 9, 7 is consecutive with 6 or 8, and um, if this is a 6, then it's in a 1 to 2 ratio with 3. If it's an 8, it's in a 1 to 2 ratio with 4. And I think that that's all that we have for digits that are already sitting on a black or white dot. So let's work on some Sudoku from here. So this 1 has to go somewhere in the top row, and it can only go in that position. Now we need a 1 in row 3, um, and it can't go in this region, it can't go in this region, so it needs to go in one of these three cells, and the only candidate for it is right there. So, that tells us a couple of things. It tells us there has to be a 3 in here somewhere. Um, so there has to be a 3 in one of these cells. Um, there also has to be a 6 in one of these cells. And therefore, either the 3 or the 6 has to be on the black dot. But if one of them is on the black dot, because they can only ever go with each other in a 1 to 2 ratio, they both have to be. So this does have to be a 3-6 pair. And this is going to be either 4 or 8. That's our last remaining pair of digits. Now, 8 is not consecutive with either 3 or 6. So this has to be a 4, which is consecutive with 3. And that is an 8. And that's in a 1 to 2 ratio with 4. So our remaining digits are from 2, 5, 7, and 9. If we look at this black dot, it can't have a 1 or 2 or a 3 or 6. So the only pair of digits that are in that relationship in the Sudoku digits are 4 and 8. That's all that's remaining. 4 is in a 1 to 2 ratio with either 2 or 8, but we already have an 8 in the region. So that's going to be a 2. And now here we need 5, 7... 8 and 9 in the row, and the 8 can't go here, and that's also going to be either 5, 7, or 9. This can't be 1 or 2 or 4 or 8, so the only remaining pair of digits in a ratio are 3 and 6. And I think that's all we can do there for right now. Uh, 5, 7, and 9 need to go into this region somewhere, and they can't ever go on a black dot, so they have to go in these three remaining cells. And that's not going to be a 9. That gives us a 5-7 pair in the column, which places a 9 right here, makes that a 7, makes that a 5, and resolves our 5-7s and 9s up here. That makes this a 2-5 pair. And now we know we have a 5 down here. That's going to be a 7 or a 9. So if we consider this region a little more closely, those are from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Those can't be 2 or 3 because of the column. Those can't be 1 or 4 because of the column. And that can't be a 6. It also can't be a 1, because 1 is not in a 1 to 2 ratio with any of these digits. In general, if you see a digit that has a black dot and a white dot, and those two cells that it touches both see each other, it can't be a 1, because both of the digits adjacent to it would have to be 2s. It's in a 1 to 2 ratio with 2, and it's consecutive with 2. So, where do we go from there? 
So this can't be a 1 because 1 is not consecutive with 5. So the only place remaining for 1 is right here, which makes that a 2, makes this a 6, and resolves the rest of that region. 2 is consecutive with 3 there. This is going to have to be 2 or 4, and because there's a 4 in the column, that's going to be a 2. In this row, we're going to need 5, 6, and 9, and the only position for a 9 is right there. And here we need a 7 and 8 somewhere, they have to go right there, and then this is going to be a 1, 4 pair. The remaining digits in these three cells are 3, 5, and 6. Of those, only 5 and 6 are consecutive, so that's going to be a 5, 6 pair, that's going to be my 3. And the remaining digits in these cells are 1, 2, and 4. The only consecutive pair there is 1 and 2, and now that's going to be a 4. Now, this pair, we know that the only digits that can appear on a black dot ever are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. We can't use 2, 3, 4, or 6 in this cell, so this must be a 1 or an 8. If it's a 1, that's a 2, and if it's an 8, that is a 4. Vertically here, we can pencil mark in some of these triples. Um, this is going to be 3, 6, and 8. This is going to be 4, 5, and 7. And this is going to be 1, 2, and 9. That can't be a 9 because 9 is not in a 1 to 2 ratio with anything. It also can't be a 1 because that would make the digit next to it a 2. And there's already a 2 in the column. So that's a 2, which is next to a 1. And neither of these are going to be 2s. Now uh, we can eliminate 8 from there, placing an 8 right here. And then these two digits have to be 5 and 6. 5 is not ever in a 1 to 2 ratio, so that's going to be a 6, and that's going to be a 5, which is consecutive with a 4. That makes this a naked 7. This can't be 3 or 6, so that's going to be an 8. We still need a 9 in this region. It can't go in any of these cells in column 1 because there's a 9 in column 1 already, so it has to go right there. These cells are going to contain 5, 7, and 8. And that's going to make this a 2 and a 5. 6 and a 5, and a 3 and a 6. Now that we have an 8 here, that has to be a 1 with a 2 next to it. And the 1 makes this a 9. And then this is going to be from 4, 5, 7. We have a 5. Oh, it's not going to be 5, 7, 8. What have I messed up here? It's going to be 2, 7, 8. <laughs> I'm backing up just a little bit. Apologies if you were screaming at the screen there. I don't think that actually changes any of the logic that I've done here. Um, I knew something didn't look quite right. But we can back up a little bit and resolve that. And so now that's a 4-5 pair right there. Um, here I need uh, 2, 3, 6, 8, and 9. And of those, the only consecutive pairs don't include a 6. This cell can't be 2 or 3, so this has to be an 8-9 pair. This also can't be a 2 or an 8 or 9. So there's my 2, there's an 8, and that's going to be an 8-9 pair. Now that tells us that we have this um, structure on 8s. We know that the 8s for columns 7 and 8 are in these four cells. So the 8s for columns 7 and 8 are already counted for, so that can't be an 8. That's got to be a 4, making this cell an 8. This can't be a 9 because it sees a 9 below it. Here I need 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That can't be 3, 4, or 6, so that's 5 or 7. Neither of those is consecutive with a 3, that makes that a 6. It makes that a 6, which is going to bounce back and resolve, I think, pretty much everything. Now that's going to be a 4. That's a 5, 7 pair. And that resolves the 7, 8, and the 8, 9. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's distractions. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Sorry about the little mishap in the in the middle there. Hopefully you're still able to follow my reasoning. And if you want to solve this one yourself, the link to do so is in the description below this video. I will see you again in three days.